So you're ready to break free from the chains of talking head videos like this one and step into your community and start doing more interesting types of content. That's awesome. But before you go recording anything and everything, there are two important release forms you may need to cover your assets and protect your hard work. Let me quickly explain these two important releases for on-site shoot. Okay, let me first start off by saying that in no way am I a lawyer or offering legal advice in this video. To fully cover yourself legally, please consult with a lawyer in your area. The recording laws vary state by state in the US, so you'll wanna consult with someone who is knowledgeable about the specific laws where you'll be filming. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about these releases. The first release you could potentially need is a location release. A location release grants permission to the filmmaker, which is you, by the property owner to film on a specific property. If the owner were to see footage shot on his property without permission, you could potentially face a lawsuit. And if the owner were to see shooting happening while on their property without legal permission, they could contact the authorities. Without a location release form, it could be argued that the footage legally belongs to the property owner if permission isn't granted beforehand. This form is also there to protect both you and the property owner. It outlines what is going to be done, when it's going to be done, and any additional rules both parties may have set. And it guarantees the owner's compensation in whatever form or amount that may take. Oftentimes though, in smaller shoots like this, the compensation portion is merely exposure for the business. But still, you'll want this in writing before hitting record. And the second release form you might need is a participant release form. It gives you permission to use someone's likeness in your video. Anyone whose face you intentionally put on camera needs to sign a participant release form. Now, regarding people who unintentionally get in your video, it gets a little trickier. Generally speaking, if you're filming in a public spot where people wouldn't reasonably have the expectation of privacy and you happen to capture a few people in your background, you don't need to get a release form for them. However, if you're on private property, like say in a business and there are patrons of that business in your background, you may need to get them to sign a release. Or at the very least, notify them of the potential to be on camera. In this instance, posting a decent sized sign at the entrance to the business that patrons can't miss, stating that they will be filmed and giving an indication of what the filming is for might be sufficient. And if you happen to film someone under 18 in any circumstance, you should almost always get a release form from their parent or guardian. This by no means covers all the potential scenarios where you might need to get a release. So make sure you double check with a qualified lawyer if you have any questions. But for the most part, if you're clear about your intentions, careful about who and where you film, and when in doubt, get the release, you shouldn't have too many problems. But again, not a lawyer, check with your lawyer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.